Hey girls, this is the last video for the day. <laughs> we are calling it a quit. I think this is video number four. So, um, this is going to be my priority box swap that I am sending out to Nat, who has put some bling on it here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and dive in. This is not going to be the small one, only because she had asked me to buy her um, a die, and it was it's a big one, so it would not fit in the little one. So I had to bump up to a medium flat rate. I think she did it on purpose. But anyways, <laughs> um, so next month and going forward, we will not be doing these type of priority box swaps anymore. We are going to be sending kits to each other. And our job when we receive the kit is to create a project. So when we show that video to you, then you will see um, the actual project. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. So what I did is I went to Daiso. And I don't believe she has one out there. Oops, sorry, ladies. Um, and I picked this up. Okay, so this is some of that really pretty um, string so she can make tassels or she can bunch this up under a project, whichever or. So I thought it was really pretty. So I got that for her. And I picked this up here because they were so cute. These are bows. I've seen these. <sighs> Gosh, I think on Pinterest and I want to learn how to make these. And it's like tulle and in the bows, there's little beads in there. Is that not the cutest? Can you imagine putting little sequins and stuff in there? So I know there's a tutor tutorial. I'm gonna find it because I want these to make these so bad. These are super cute. So again, these are from Daiso. And then I picked this up, which is the tool and it has um, the stars on it. So I just picked that up for her. Then I just packaged these. I showed you guys that I made these before. So I'm just going to package these up and gift these to her. So I'm not going to take them out of the packaging. I did show these previously. And then I showed these previously. I haven't sealed it yet, but I showed these. I made a bunch of these with t intentions to gifting them. There's another some, There's another friend of mine I'm gifting it to. Because every time I make these, I make a bunch. Whatever um, embellishment I'm doing, I make a bunch of them because I know I have swaps coming or racks and um, or my blessing boxes that I send out. So I make those. I make plenty. And then I haven't locked this down yet. And then this right here is just card candy. And I just made a, this, this rosette I did by hand. So this right here is ready to go for her to pop on a project. And then... I just put in some of these flowers that um, I've shown previously a couple times already. So I just packaged these up. I haven't sealed any of them yet. And then I got this right here for her. This is a stamp. This is super cute. It says flat hugs inside. So it's meant for packaging. So if she was to like maybe send some die cuts, this would be cute that she could add on there. And this came from um, the stampdoctor.com. I ordered some dies and stuff like that. So I just picked up this stamp. And then I picked up these these little charms right here to go into her packaging as well. These are for Michaels. And then I believe I showed this. Yeah, yeah, I did. I showed this one already. So this right here is just, you know, card candy or for packaging, whichever she chooses to use. And these little baggies, if anybody asks, they all came from Allie. So got those. Then this right here, this packaging super cute. These are all self-adhesive. Um, and these are just the bows that I showed previously that I've made that had the little dangles on them. So that you've already seen these before. Probably a couple times because I made plenty for people. Okay. And then I did show this previously as well. This is one of those ribbon bows with a bunny on it. And then we just have this little tiny one. I did show this as well. And then I did this one right here. And let me tell you what's funny about this. I literally just did this a little bit ago because <laughs> I used her egg rosette that she made. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to use that. So um, um, Tara Finch had... Um, made these super cute little rosettes so I took one of those that she made Nat also made one this little tiny rosette that's like a flower she ran it through some type of dye and then these right here 
are from Tara Finch as well. She gifted some of these little wood, um, these little um, chipboard Easter chipboard things <laughs> from Target. I found a bucket. I can't tell you how excited I am. So, but I used the ones that she gifted me. And then I have some of this um, iridescent um, sewing thread that you can get from Joann's. Then I just put some doodle bug hearts right here and here. And then I did this little, um, I haven't done one of these little pens in a while. So this little super cute little tulip pen comes in, I think, three or four different colors. It's from Joann's in the sewing section. And I just put two little beads because they're not really long. So you can't really tell, but um, this is like a shade of pink and this is a shade of purple. So I just put those on there and I use glossy accent to stick it on there. So I just tuck that in there. So this is this little stick pen. I haven't done that. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done that. So I thought I'd make a cute little project. She's probably going to crack up when she sees that. <laughs> I loved it. I really loved that. Is that not super cute? So I'll put that in there. And like I said, I had found a bucket of them. So now I'm gifting some of those to Nat. So I... Here's a bunch of those. And it was like the last bucket. I can't tell you how excited I was about that. All right. And then this right here, um, Nat had bought me this die. Um, I don't remember. I think it was for Christmas. Um, so I finally used it. This is just a bag topper that I made. This right here is a clip that Tara, who was Nurse Tara, she um, gifted me this. So I just used that to clip on to hold on to the bag. And I did not adhere it. These right here, you could adhere just the bottom so that the pop top part opens, or some people adhere all the sides, and then just this will open like this. Um, I left it completely open, just and the only thing holding it is this, and this isn't adhered, it's just tied on there. So in here, I went ahead and I um, purchased these right here for her from um, Frank's um, studio sale that he had, and I put one of these super cute pens from Hobby Lobby and she will love that super super cute smart girls well, these are cute I love these and then I made oops when I got that super cute um prim heart die from Sizzix I made this and they're all three are layered on top of each other I use this really pretty um it's not glitter. It's kind of like, they almost kind of look like a, an iridescent snowflake type of thing. And um, I put some butterflies on there with some blings in them. This right here is a die from Allie. This is a die from Allie. And then these are just some random heart punches that I had. And that was it. I thought this would be super cute embellishment that she could put onto something. Love, love this die so very much. <laughs> but isn't that the cutest? It looks like a little gummy bear type of bunny. And then, I cannot tell you how annoyed I am. <laughs> the sewing machine, my um, a friend of mine, Van, she gifted it to me. And it's the Vivo sewing machine by Singer. And it's super cute, super not rocket science to use. but And I I don't know what it is, but it'll sew really well. And then a few stitches in, the, the string, it just snaps. So it can't be the tension because I only have the tension on two. So that's not even strong enough because the higher you go, the stronger the tension is. So, um, or is it the looser? I don't remember which one it is. I'm not a, I'm not a sewing person, but I've tried all of them because I've watched, I don't know how many videos on that sewing machine and I can't get the reason why when it stitches and then all of a sudden I'll hear the, the needle come up and then it breaks the, um, what you call it. So for instance, I wanted to make a bunch of these for her that are just sewn of these little banner pieces so that she could put these on projects and just left the string on them because I like the look. If she doesn't, she can cut it off. But I mean, look at the back. And I know that is because they say that it's probably not, um, that the, when I put the, the sewing thread through the, when I was threading the sewing machine, um, but I followed the tutorial on how to do it to the T and, um, see, that. Hold on, I'm doing a video. Okay. So anyways, um, that's Nat right now who <laughs> literally just called me. Anyways, so 
we have uh, these right here but i went ahead and did them because you know what the sewing and the imperfection of the sewing is is fine i don't care and she'll add stuff on top of them but i wanted to gift her these and i just loved how they came out i have this punch and i've had it for like a year and um so i just wanted to make sure to go ahead and gift these to her so these are the last thing and this was the die that i picked up for her because it was literally the last one this is the one that i used it's amazing and this is the reason why i couldn't send it in a smaller box so it's totally her fault i know she's just trying to have me spend more money but anyways <laughs> thank you guys so much for stopping by i hope you enjoyed some of the goodies and um i will see you guys next week thank you so much for hanging in there and watching my videos and i really hope that you guys had an amazing day with your family and i appreciate all of you all of my older subbies and all of my new subbies thank you so very much and i will talk to you later bye <laughs>